Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 125. Almost tax day for those of you who have to pay that or do that or whatever that is means to you. Um, we're talking about Wix 311, and that's all we're talking about right now, which is a little bit frustrating because we'd like to move on, but this is all about moving on. So we'll talk about Wix 311 RC status. We'll do our triage of all the things we have to triage for Wix 311 and so on. And we'll talk about the Wix 311 re release date which is still the thing we're working towards, so that we can then move on to more interesting things. Um, and always we'll take the questions and comments at the end. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to join us here today. We actually have a light crew um, today, so maybe there'll be more people watching online later. Wix 311 RC2 status. Things are actually looking pretty good. Installs are out there. We've got um, now, I think, 11,000 installs of the the extension and not too many complaints, really, um, that weren't mostly expected. Um, and thousands and thousands of installs of the uh, Wix 311 R2, RC2, um, and generally things are looking pretty good there. Uh, we're in the high 90s success rate from what things are you know showing us right now, which is good. Um, R311 issues are looking pretty good. We'll go through those, and then we'll go through the pull requests. Uh, basically, looking good means there's no surprises in them, and we still have the work that we need to do. <clears throat> uh, that's me, actually. Um, but we'll talk about that when we talk about them, which is now. Bob, ready? I am ready. All right, we'll go through the issues first starting at the bottom, which was left over from last week, and I just saw a comment on this saying, haven't seen any issues. So I'm going to call this a one-time, one-off thing. I don't know. Maybe they got a virus update that fixed their false positive. Um, or maybe they really did get this from a wrong place and installed some dangerous software, and I don't know where they installed it from. They say they got it straight from the main site, but who knows. Um, so I think we can declare this fixed in RC2 and move on. Works for me. Cannot install this extension inside, you know, our extension inside Visual Studio 2017. Um, there's nothing really we can do about this, so ask Visual Studio, and they said if you have issues with installing stuff into Visual Studio, go here. Because um, it's not like we can do anything about it. <laughs> we put stuff in there, and that's all we can do. Uh, Wix install folder. I think this has turned into, yeah, just a general support question. Please go talk about that where people will help you. Not much there. Um, mailing list archive not available. Again, I do not know why this keeps falling off the internet, um, but I guess we need to give this to me so I can go follow up with the people that are running this. And I don't know what to do about them. This has happened, this permission to access thing has happened regularly, it seems. About every, I don't know, nine months or something now. So I'll take that to follow up on. Example wrong in documentation. What's wrong here? Obviously, that should be payload group, not payload group. Oh, hey, I think someone fixed this. Oh, yeah, they did. Why isn't this issue closed? Oh. Hmm. That's weird. All right. I think we could close this. So let's give it a label of doc and close it because it's fixed. Very nice of somebody that wasn't the person that opened it to fix the typo. That was awesome. Error invalid handle passed to a custom action. Yes. And we told them to go ask questions about how to use Waste Tool Set and Waste Users. Missing link from home page. Ah, so we have a discussion about this. Someone's upset that it took them a while to find a Wix 4 build. Granted, the Wix 4 build to fall kind of behind um, because we were so focused on 3.11, um, but we have a 4 build, and then they were continuing to be upset about it not being easy to find it, and Brian, who did the work to uh, clean up our page and generally make it a little harder to find Wix 4 because people were downloading it when they probably didn't mean to, um, has offered to do more work on it. Um, so I think we can reopen this, and Brian said he would take a look at this at the end of um, the month. So should we put this in 3.11? Let's put it in 3.11 just to follow up on it. 
uh, side it to Brian and see if he hits in that thing. And if he doesn't, we'll just roll it into the next milestone, wherever that is. Yes? Alright. I think Sean is just unmuting himself and got the radio going. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just loud. Alright. So, all right, that's easy enough. Um, Arm 64 for Wix. Um, I guess we're going to have to look at this. Um, Arm 64. <sighs> I think we're going to have to support regular Arm first. We're not even shipping that right now. Well, we don't because I don't think... Well, we didn't in the past have the headers and libraries to do so. Um, but we might now. Um, and then there's all the custom actions. Man, there's going to be a lot of work in doing ARM. It's going to be stuff all over. Um, I'm Without a device. And, well, I'm hoping the compilers can do most of the work for us. Um, well, I'm thinking specifically of ARM64 being... Um, Server only? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, complications from custom actions. Right now, we have a bunch of code in extensions and custom action authoring to say, if you're 32-bit and not x86, or, you know, what? Yeah, yeah, no, there's going to be work. Yeah. Yeah. We have, we have a bunch of pivots on bitness where we just kind of assume if you're 64-bit, it's AMD 64. Yeah, no, when you add a third to something that has been binary for a long time, it's not going to be yeah. fun. That first exactly. one, that's fun. Uh, so this is definitely going in four at the best. Yeah. Four X at the worst. Uh, preferences, thoughts? Uh, I don't see any reason that we would block Wix 4.0 on or it. ARM 64. All right, I'm yeah. fine with four X. And I, you know, again, we're going to have to wait and see. I think what you know what happens, what actually happens with ARM64. Yeah. I Remember heard someone today, that ARM64 was going to be server only, too, so I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and, you know, even today, you can't, normal humans can't ship on ARM32. No, yeah. That hasn't changed yet, so. That hasn't changed either, yep, yep. Yep, 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 all right, well, we will wait and see, but I think Wix 4X until something changes. And this bug that just came in, while we were talking, essentially. Um, something about heat failing to load the project, and and Sean was enlightening us with his um, statement about this might be the same as um, uh, another bug we have about Wix 15. Although this is about XML comma to XML elements, so this could be something simpler inside the code um, in heat, I guess, where it's expecting elements, but there's actually a comment somewhere in their code, and Heat doesn't like that, um, potentially. Yeah, I'm actually curious. I, I don't know off the top of my head how Heat uh, harvesting a project works from MS Build. It, this, you know, uh, up in the, the second line of output, is that a pre-build event? Because we know that's not going to work, right, Sean? Um, Just running heat XE on a on project isn't going to work, but it might work if you use the the targets. I think you should be able to run it just heat on the project. Mm -hmm. I don't I if don't see a, why. If it's a V15 project. Well, yeah, if it's a V15, it's not going to work. Right. Sorry. That's so. My question is, if it's a V15 project, and you use the the uh, project harvesting target is that going to work? Because it's already running in the context of MS Build at that point. Because I know the the bug that you reported and, and did the you know the partial fix for was running keep that XE, you know, just well, raw from the command line. Well, I didn't I didn't check anything in. Yeah, I know, I know. So. It it doesn't matter whether it's running inside a mess build or not. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the same. All right. So this goes in 4X, and someone needs to go dig into it, or do we think it's the same as that other issue that Sean was talking about, and we dupe it? Can dupe we... it until proven innocent? Innocent? 
can we pull up that? I guess just dupe it and assume yeah. it's the same. Yeah, and if they find it's not, then whoever takes a look at this will be able to go, oh, this isn't the same as that one. I'm only fixing one of these. And we'll go fix it. We'll, we can undupe it at that point. Yeah. All right. It doesn't hurt to associate the two of them together, though. All right, moving on. Um, we're going to look at pull requests in Wix 3. There are only two of them, and they are interesting. Um, support for additional languages and util extension late in RC2, which is really strange, but okay. Um, if these get cleaned up and work, do we want to take them? They're usually pretty safe. They're just data in the end. Yeah, if if they're if they're correct, uh, it's fine. I mean, just we just have to review them, tell them to get them correct, and once they're correct, we can take them. I saw some English in some of them. So they didn't. That's the other it. thing. It, it's just data, but it's it's data that you know for the most part we can't evaluate. All right, let me say this differently. If these are good, will we take them in three eleven? I don't know that we can evaluate them as good. We can we can evaluate some as obviously wrong. Well, then then we definitely won't take it. But if yeah. it looks correct, I don't know what else we're going to do with language translations. Like, thank you. I, I'm I'm kind of not thrilled about taking stuff this late. Okay, so you want to just push in the four and call it good? That's my vote. I mean, I appreciate that people you know are contributing them, but. You know, for the most part, I think you know people. If they're not monitoring these recordings, uh, they probably don't know that you know RC two was or RC was happening at this point. So, Sean, I can go either way. I don't really have a preference on this one. All right, John, I think you're the tiebreaker because Sean and I are kind of abstaining. We're not taking anything in 314 that isn't. <laughs> Bad choice. <laughs> then four. Oh, all right. All right. I guess we'll... We probably need to do the work to kind of pull these over if they look good. I'm in the four. Uh, yeah, I'd agree with that. If we okay. can't you know, take them as is, then I all suppose right. we should do the work. Cool. Then these aren't coming. Which means, what is left in 311? And... This might go away, one update. No, all right. This is going away because that's been resolved today. Um, so what we have left are the issues around the C++ custom action templates and then a little bit about the, the way templates are showing up and then something that shows, that differentiates V4 templates from V3 templates. So essentially, this custom action one is the one that um, I think is the um, the thing that may change the core tool set, and then these other two are essentially just updating the votive um, extension to keep enhancing templates as we need to, which we will do, which will probably be the biggest reason we change the votive extension is to fix issues in the templates um, in ways that hopefully do not require changes in the core tool set. Um, and fortunately, those are just pushes out to um, there's a student marketplace without any other real, you know, interaction with, you know, actually installing stuff on your build machines and having to be correct on your build servers and all that kind of stuff. Much easier to fix a template than it is to fix the code in the core tool set for your build. So um, this custom action, oh, look, and they're all on me, which isn't really that surprising. So I, I need to get to this C++ custom action. I've been really busy, but um, that's the thing that I have left to do is just spend some time and figure out how to fix our C++ custom action. Just for the record, part of the reason this is a little more work than you might think is that our current C++ custom actions, we have one per version of Visual Studio, which creates a lot of complexity, and our templates are actually of the Visual Studio 2005, 2008 variety, which means they're ancient, and something in Visual Studio is translating them to turn them into real them as build projects. So it's a bigger project than I thought it was. Um, but that doesn't matter. We still need to get it fixed and solved, so hopefully we can stop messing with it. So that's the status of the C++ custom actions things and why it's hanging out. But otherwise, the core tool set's looking really good, which is my segue into 
we're still doing Cinco de Mayo. I didn't go back and re-listen, and I forgot. But I thought that's kind of what we agreed on. So we're doing Cinco de Mayo. Yes. I think so. Yes. Good. All right. My memory. Works. I suppose we've already used May the Fourth, right? We've used May the Fourth, and you know we've used May Day. Um, and I think Sean recommended Cinco de Mayo, and it sounded like a good idea. So Cinco de Mayo sounded good. All right. Margaritas for really for all. Then? Yeah, dude. Tequila, <laughs> I'm in. Um, so uh, we're still looking all right for this. If really, I just need to sit down and do the uh, custom action uh, template, which honestly isn't that um, isn't that big a code of anything. So the nice thing is that we're not getting people saying that Wix 311 is breaking their installs, their builds. Um, outside of things that you know we know about, like the heat and the MS Build 15 uh, complications, and we are getting a lot of people installing it, so that's all good. Much progress being made all over. So that's what we're working for, May 5th, and then we're going to wrap all this up, put it to bed, and we're only going to basically be talking about 4.0, and when we talk about 3, it will be about how to bring people from 3 to 4. That's what we'll be doing. So. Other things people want to talk about. John, you got anything out there? Um, other things you guys want to bring up here now before we shut down for the day? John, Bob? No, no. No. Go All right. So, think of the miles, what we're going for. Um, bugs coming in look okay. Everything looks okay. So, yeah, we're going to do a release here in a few weeks. Um, assuming I get my template stuff all done. <laughs> so, I need to get on that, but I already knew that. So, uh, I guess on that note, you guys have a wonderful couple weeks. We'll talk to you in two. Later. Bye. Bye.